what's really going to be a, a central to the problem is that if it's, we have a graded distribution of a protein, a maternal protein in the egg, that the a protein that the mother has directly or indirectly has put into the egg, how does that uh, distribution of the maternal bicoite protein established? How is it formed? And from wonderful experiments by uh, Christian and St. Volhard, Wolfgang Drever, and a number of other laboratories, we've learned that what's central here is that this protein gradient that we can see in this uh, embryo here, it's about two hours old, arises because, not because the mother puts the protein into the egg and not because she puts the protein in a graded fashion, but instead what she does is that why, when she's making the egg back in the ovary, back long before fertilization, when she was making the egg, she deposits the RNA that encodes this protein and anchors it to the cytoplasm, the anterior end of the egg. This RNA is not is not translated during oogenesis. As long as she's holding this egg, as long as the egg is not fertilized, the RNA sits there in an inactive form. When the egg is fertilized, one of the uh, one consequence of fertilization or activation of this egg is that this RNA is released from its anchor and begins to be translated because the protein is not anchored, the protein is thought to diffuse from this source of synthesis, continue to make protein constantly here from the RNA that's localized here, but the protein diffuses and what's established over time in these first two hours is a gradient of bicoid, of this transcription factor bicoid. What then happens is that this uh, that ultimately, and this is a little cartoon diagram, uh, that the highest concentrations of the bicoid protein will be at the anterior end of the egg. The concentration will fall. This is a transcription factor, and there are genes in, in the uh, embryo that are going to become transcriptionally active at this, this time. This is the stage where trans major transcriptional activation occurs in the embryo. But that this... Uh, but those genes are activated by bicoid as a transcription factor in a concentration-dependent way. So there are certain genes, for example, like the hunchback gene, that are activated by relatively higher concentrations of bicoid protein, and so show a boundary of show expression only in the anterior most 48% uh, of the egg. As you can see here, there are other genes which are, can be activated by lower thresholds, for example, the cripple gene, shown here. And that, that gene, um, the cripple gene then, and the hunchback gene define domains of gene expression. Are the, are the genes, in fact, the, that are expressed in the embryo and are involved in establishing those spatial patterns? <coughs>